it's time for another build. Heat inserts are a really great way to kind of elevate your projects and make them feel a bit more professional, durable, and just nicer. And doing them by hand can be a bit fiddly. So a great tool to have is a heat insert press. However, for some reason, people keep ridiculously over-engineering these things with springs and linear rails and all this crap that like, I'm sure it makes for a very nice press, but you don't need it. All you need is for the press to go up and down relatively straight, right? So I stumbled upon this design called the Super Serta, which is 100% 3D printed. It's designed in a very intelligent way. Everything is designed with 3D printing in mind. No supports, no nothing. And uh, let's put one together. So I actually ended up printing the parts probably three times because the tolerance is, I don't know if it was my printer or the files themselves but it was insanely tight and none of these threads would actually work i had to end up downsizing and upsizing different parts so that the threads would work nicely together which was uh, not not fun uh, i printed all of this in ptg by the way i don't know if that was necessary but it made me feel better I actually did a remix of the original design, so it's got this little drawer here which I can eventually put spare tips and inserts into so that they're nice and organized and kept all together. So we're almost done. All we gotta do now is install uh, the finest soldering iron that $15 on Timu could provide. I probably should have done this before I put the bloody lifter in. But that's fine, we will persevere. And there we go. Let's plug it in and uh, give it a try. Well, it didn't catch fire. So I've printed this little test block that we can use. I was also using it to test laser engraving on the back. And there we go. I mean, they're not lined up correctly, but they're in there and they're flush and they're straight. So that's a win considering it cost me only a few dollars in filament. 